The US dollar has enjoyed a nice run over the past few sessions and we'll be looking to see if it can extend the run into the Friday close. The dollar is sitting in a unique position these days as it's capable of rallying on both yield differentials and flight to safety. This is what we've been seeing since the buck got going again this week with the initial wave of inflow coming in the aftermath of the more hawkish leaning Fed minutes and that next wave coming from a pullback in U.S. equities with the deterioration in sentiment fueling a run to the dollar. At the same time, we're seeing an ongoing worry about the structural issues in Italy, stress relating to the fate of Brexit, fear of fallout from a trade war, and distress in the emerging markets as these economies contend with the prospect of higher U.S. rates that will make it very difficult to manage their debt exposures. And all of this comes at a time when monetary policy accommodation has been exhausted, setting the stage for a bigger rotation out of equities after the massive move over the past decade. While we believe this capitulation in the equity market will play out in the weeks and months ahead, we're not as convinced the dollar will continue to run as it has. For one, we believe there are too many risks out there to keep the Fed from holding on to what has been a more restrictive stance and anticipate the central bank will ultimately be forced to ease up on the normalization timeline. We also continue to see U.S. trade policy as something that will impact the currency market with a softer dollar required to produce results the administration is very serious about. About getting. But right now the dollar is strong and right here is where we will get an idea of whether or not the dollar is about to sell off again or if it's not and, and it's not done with that run in 2018. We use euro dollar 114.30 as the level to watch. If the euro closes below this level it sets the stage for a bigger dollar rally that could quickly take the major pair back down below the 113 2018 low from August. If on the other hand the euro can find a way to reverse back to the top side and break through 116.25, we see room for a rally that takes the major pair back to retesting and breaking the 2018 high around 125.50, also a plus three year high. So we're at an important point here and it will be important to keep an eye. As far as today's docket goes, we get UK public finances, Canada retail sales and CPI, US existing home sales and an appearance from Bank of England Governor Carney. Keep an eye out for any updates on Brexit, global trade and overall performance in US equities. That's all for now.